in last meeting we discussed it about uh, form templates right i mean patterns and sub patterns in that uh, we have seen about uh, parameter form design and after that uh, we have seen uh, field groups concept right uh arjun hello uh, yeah Hi. yes tell me uh, so uh, I, 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 I tried to write valid right method, but it is uh, when I write, I, I written the same code you have written, but it's telling me that I cannot put greater than or smaller sign for integer and string. It's showing me that error. Okay, I, I will look into that. Don't, don't worry. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so uh, the next concept which I am going to tell you about, where is the content? But Arjun, uh, all those you will anyways explain us in detail later, right? Because I'm not aware of uh, the X++ uh, coding part yet. I have not yet started the X++ programming. Okay, okay, good, good, yeah. So, uh, so is it any wrong from my side or it's, it's a problem no, with no, that? Because I don't know what exactly you have done. Or, okay, so if I see your code, then only I can understand. Okay, yeah. Okay, fine. Definitely, I will check your code, don't worry. Okay, now the next concept which we are working with uh, enumerators. In this enumerator concept, we are learning about how to create a checkbox, combo box, and radio button. These three controls, how we will create in the form level. Okay, so how can we create a checkbox, combo box, and a radio button mainly? So, to create a checkbox, combo box, radio button, so first of all, we need to know about the enumerators concept i mean enums for example i just want to create a checkbox in my table i mean why we are using checkbox checkbox is for yes or no type for example uh, like uh, passport the passport beside the passport field i will place the checkbox so if the tick mark is available what exactly it is meaning that but that particular person having passport so if it is not in che uh, checked okay the the particular person doesn't have any passport something like license so if i tick the checkbox okay this person having license if the if it is not ticked okay then this person doesn't have any license so yes or no type mainly checkbox we will use for yes or no type so here also i'm creating a particular field in the table for particular checkbox kind of thing like i'm creating a i'm creating a enumerator per checkbox enum i have chosen enum and i'm giving like a status active or inactive something like that. so this employee status i'm going to show you here just i have given a name called status and i have taken the enum field and the main important property for enum enumerator is enum type is enum type should be no yes this one we need we need to select this is parent value no yes is a parent value we are inheriting some of the properties uh, from no yes to our status field so must and should you need to provide enum type should be no yes remember for always for checkbox creation okay successfully i have created checkbox okay now i'll I will do one thing i will bring that particular status into the form level okay let me open the form and uh, if you expand the data source fields you, immediately you cannot find the status in the list of uh, data source fields you just need to restore your form when you restore the form automatically the status will be updated in the data source field list from here you can drag and drop wherever you want directly in the grid control or uh, general tab wherever you want you can drag and drop it okay the checkbox i have dragged in the, into the grid control and also uh, in contact in contact okay so we have created two groups right over okay let me delete one group here so in contact group also i'm going to drag and drop the status so how it will show in the general tab is how it will show in the grid control that i'm going to tell you that's what i have dragged two times one one in grid control one in general tab base okay save it build your project along with synchronization that is must because we have created a field right in the table so synchronization is must 
let us build the project so this is the way of creating checkbox that's it there is no another processor this is only the processor we have just follow these steps to create checkbox just a second guys it is in the build process okay the build process completed now let me execute this form we'll see how the checkbox will show in the user interface Now you can see there is a status. Okay, status. Now <clears throat> this particular employee is uh, active active record. Okay, this is inactive record. So suppose if you go to the general tab, you can see the status column. How it is showing? Okay. But in grid control, it will show like this. But in general tab, it will show like this. So that is about a checkbox creation. Now let's create a combo box. Combo box is like multiple options. For example, gender, like male, female, unknown, something like, like uh, weeks, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, something like months, Jan to December. Any any other options like a uh, uh, account type saving account current account demand account okay like uh, business account whatever it is something like we we can create multiple options so that end user can select whatever they want so by default in our in our aot we have a, a predefined base enums are available if you want you can use it directly for example if, if you go to the application explorer go to the data types there is a base enums these are all combo boxes for example a b c okay options are a b c okay and the label will be show in the user interface a b c for example there is a account choice account and selection something like okay account role original reversing adjusting closing opening something like for example in the same way we have a gender gender is also available here gender unknown male female non-specific okay suppose i just want to use this gender in my table already gender is available right why i need to create uh, a game so that directly i can drag and drop this gender into the table fields that's it no need to create if it is available in the here in aot you can directly drag and drop into your table fields okay save it and uh, 
bring that column into the data source okay the form has not restored okay just restore your form the gender been gender has been reflected in the uh, fields simply you can drag and drop wherever you required to show that particular uh, field in the user interface okay let me drag and drop in contact details also okay we'll see whether it, whether it is any difference is there in the user interface or not okay now save the changes again build the project with the synchronization and uh, let's open this form suppose if i want to create a new base enum that also i will show you after this one i told you how to use existing one in the next step i will tell you how to create a new base enum and how to use it Okay, build process completed. Now let's open this form. You can see here there is a gender column. I can select male, female, <coughs> non specific kind of thing. Okay. If you go to the general tab, you can see the gender. It is showing same like in the uh, in the grid control itself. Same. Okay. 